Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and today we have the next part of our 7 Battlefield EZA showcase series with the physical Super Saiyan Goku. Now, this guy is very, very good. Um, in fact, so let's keep B-Pan around for now since, of course, good old showcase... Uh, luck he's in the final slot so let's blow through these first couple of uh, rotations and talk about him here so you're noticing this uh, free to play Gohan on the team I haven't really put any orbs into him at all um, he is the best link partner for this Goku um, on Goku family uh, because he's one of the few units that shares all of his attack links so Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, and Z Fighters. The, those are sort of mixed. Like, there's not a lot of other pure Saiyan uh, units that have Z Fighters um, that also have things like Golden Warrior and Saiyan Warrior Race. So, this Gohan is his best link partner on this team. Um, I can't imagine anyone really, I guess, using him as his link partner in most scenarios. Because um, he's not the best unit. Obviously, if you are somebody who does like farm up and rainbow the majority of free-to-play units, then I guess he could be a pretty decent option. He's not the worst card out there. Um, but essentially, like most Super Saiyans are going to fit well with him because obviously he has Super Saiyan. He has prepared for battle. Uh, he's a Shattering the Limit unit. Golden Warrior is pretty common as well. Z Fighters is kind of the only one that's a bit wonky but it is 15% attack so I thought it would be good to try and get it activated at least for this showcase and then when we go into I think we're going to use them on Super Battle Road for the second video um, we obviously won't be using this Gohan but his other abilities will shine more in uh, that scenario so we can already go ahead and use B-Pan's active I'm just going to do it like this is basically going to be one of his best attack stats uh, he doesn't um, raise attack with his supers or anything like that. So let us go ahead here. Uh, he does supreme damage with a great chance to stun. Which is 70%. So you can see why he's going to be useful on something like Super Battle Road. A 70% chance to dodge. Um, and then his passive, he gives himself 2 key, 80% attack and defense. And a high chance of performing a crit, which is 50%. When HP is 50% or more. So yeah, 1.67. That's uh, that's pretty good. Considering all the things that he can do. And of course there was that crit. Um, and then if your HP is 49% or less. He gives himself more of a boost. He gets 3 key, 100% attack and defense. And a great chance of performing a critical hit. So that goes up to 70%. Which means that in the modes where enemies can indeed be stunned. He has a 70% chance to stun. And a 70% chance to crit. So, yeah. He's very, very good. Especially, uh, say for example, like Pure Saiyans Super Battle Road. If that's one of the stages that you still need to do. Goku Family is definitely a viable option. Or even if you just run a Pure Saiyan team in general. And um, there's a lot of decent tanks and stunners on Pure Saiyan teams. And uh, this guy definitely uh, joins them in the... Uh, list of units that are useful for super battle road so let's see him here obviously with no support we're not going to get much higher than that um rotation we'll see when we've got the goku gohan card on rotation with us because they are a goku family support unit so let's see what his tanking is going to be like here against tn yeah basically nothing um attack and defense 80 percent is still a very good buff um, we didn't get the crit, but we did get the stun, and then in comes the additional from the hidden potential system, and there's the crit. That one was a stun as well. So, I mean, you can see that 70% chance to stun the enemy. Very good. Like, it's going to be so, so useful for any events where that is an option. So, that is very good. I'll bring up his uh, hidden potential stats. I have to keep remembering to do that in this series. Like a couple of times now I've forgotten to show it until right near the end. So when we get on to the next turn with him on rotation, I will uh, bring it up and we can have a look. So 
2.7 for this tech full power Goku. I finally rainbowed him uh, from the... I did a couple of multis on Piccolo's banner and then just stopped. And uh, he was the only featured unit that I managed to pull. But it was the final copy I needed. Uh, obviously an excellent rotation partner for LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to put you in the front again. I want to see that... Uh, tanking but let me show you his build so obviously because he has such a high chance to crit i gave him 17 additional six crit and three dodge obviously there are going to be some circumstances where you just want that little bit of extra crit i didn't want to give him a bunch of extra dodge you guys know i like to give my units three dodge um i definitely could you could definitely make the argument of giving him 20 additional um, 20 additional 3 crit and 3 dodge would probably be perfectly fine. To be honest, you probably could even go 20 additional 6 dodge. Um, but there you go. Like, I feel like that's a pretty balanced build for him. I don't know, maybe I should have given him 20 additional and 3 crit. Because the extra 3 in crit isn't going to make a huge difference uh, if his crit passive doesn't go off. But, I mean, before his easy A, he really was only useful for stunning. So I think that's why I gave him... That extra additional. He of course didn't have the built-in ability to crit before. So there we go. I guess if I pull any more copies of him. I can always go back and uh, fix that. So let's see what we are going to get out of him here. So yeah 1.46. So obviously he's not putting out the highest attack stat. Out of some of these units that we've shown off so far. But he's not taking a huge amount of damage. Um, his obviously his main use is going to be that utility. In the fact that he can stun and has the uh, built-in crit chances. Although, of course, as you saw there, he didn't actually get a crit this turn. So even with the 50% uh, chance from his passive and the fact that we gave him a little bit extra in the hidden potential system, um, he did not come through for us. So I kind of want, I kind of do want Piccolo to deal a bit of damage to us here. Because I, uh, I would quite like to go below 50% HP. Just so we can see uh, him with his full boost. But I'm not sure if we'll be able to take enough damage on this rotation. I guess maybe if he, if he super attacks uh, the eight, one of the AGL Gokus. I guess even if he super attacks full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because his defense isn't the best. So, just super attack someone and not be countered. That would be quite useful. No, okay. So, we'll try not to get a super attack with B-Pan. Because she will heal us. So, we're just going to try and see if we can get below the HP threshold here. In order to get that extra little bit of attack boost from his passive. There was the crit, and then in comes the additional. No crit that time, but there you go. Getting those extra super attacks. Very, very useful. Obviously, uh, Piccolo at this point, I guess, is uh, unable to be stunned. So Now, unfortunately, because we have a support unit on the rotation, we are unable to avoid the Dokon attack here, which is disappointing. So I guess we are... Uh, Probably not going to see that low health scenario come through in uh, this particular video. I feel like with the fact that we're going to take him into Super Battle Road uh, after this to see how well he does there. I feel like we are not going to have any issues <laughs> dropping below 50% in that particular one. Um, I'm not going to bother doing this. We are still going to get obviously a bit of a heal which is going to take us out of the 50% uh, range. So I guess in Super Battle Road we're going to get to see his utility both as a stunner and hopefully we're going to get that uh, full part of his passive to activate. Because I imagine the Dokon mode probably going to heal us close to full. But let's see. We're not going to take out Vegeta this turn. Let's see what we can get out of... Uh... Yeah, see we're basically on full health again now. Um, I guess I could do this. Gohan will take quite a bit of damage in that front slot, especially if he gets supered. Um, so I'll give you that. And then... Give you that. 
Yes, he's taking he's taking a lot of damage, but still not quite enough. I want to get to that HP if I can, but it's not looking great. So you're seeing here with the uh, with the fifty percent chance to crit, we have uh, missed it quite a few times. So I do really want to see this uh, full chance. Uh, we've got no. No way of skipping the attacks here. Oh, we're getting so close, but yeah, I think Goku's going to finish him off here. We might be able to get it done. We're. Uh, I don't want the video to go on for too long, but we might be able to get it done here against is it trunks yeah trunks is the next one up so obviously gohan's going to take quite a lot of damage from trunks um i mean i don't want to get super though that's the only problem i only brought healing items with me so i can kind of only get a full heal so in fact let's actually pick up we'll pick up the type specific orbs because that will give us a little bit of a heal before we then take a load more damage. Okay. Because we should be fairly safe in the uh, Super Saiyan 4 rotation. So 1.46. So we're still hovering around 1.2 to 1.5 million. Based on whether or not there's a support unit on the rotation. Obviously you can see here starting to take a little bit more damage as well. But considering he's a unit not specifically built for uh, being heavily defensive. Those aren't bad numbers at all. Um, ooh, I wonder if I... You know, I get the, he's not gonna, his health's not low enough that I could just take him out with the uh, active skills, which is a little bit annoying. But Let's go ahead and do this. We'll grab same type orbs because obviously we are low on health. So this keeps us safe. Because obviously Goku, as opposed to Vegeta, does raise his defense... Even if you only get the 12 key super. So we should be perfectly fine to survive this turn. And then we're going to get to see uh, at least one final attack from Super Saiyan Goku. With his extra part of his passive active. Which is not just the extra 20% to attack and defense. But his crit chance goes from 50% to 70%. So hopefully we will actually get a crit with that attack. Yeah, not taking any damage out here. That's what we like to see. Okay. So we'll give you that. Give you those. Uh, I'm going to heal just in case. Obviously, the passive is activated at the start of the turn, so we're not going to lose it. Because uh, knowing my luck, he'll super attack us in that first slot, and we'll have uh, done all of that for nothing. So there you go. See, how much is this going to do? We had, what, about 160,000? Yeah, so we would have died. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, 1.39 without a support unit. So, not too bad. Um, and then we get that crit with the 70% chance. So, pretty decent. Like I said, this Goku, he's not built specifically for, like, tanking or dealing damage. But he put out some pretty reasonable numbers. Uh, we got to see quite a few crits. He obviously stunned quite a bit in the early stages as well. So, overall, I would say that he is very, very good. Yet another one of them. I mean, all of these units are very good. But another unit that definitely has a lot of uses. And I'm looking forward to trying him out in Super Battle Road. So, let me know. Have you got Goku Awakened? Have you done them all yet? How did you build him? Is he rainbow? Let me all know all of that down below in the comments. And... That's going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The link is in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.